Welcome Japanese woodblock print collectors and enthusiasts. In Japan in the 1860s and 70s, newspapers were being printed in the major cities. They generally look like this, kind of boring pamphlets. One alternate type of newspaper was a single page sheet called a Nishiki e Shimbun, or a brocade picture newspaper. And they look like this, in full color, with the newspaper masthead at the top, and then text describing the news story and a color illustration. These sold for a cost of about $1 to $2 in today's money, making them very affordable to ordinary citizens. The most prolific artists of these newspaper prints were Yoshiiku, who is the primary artist for the Tokyo Nichi Nichi Shimbun, and Yoshitoshi, who was the primary artist for the Yubin Hochi Shimbun. The popular topics of these newspapers were crime, suicide, society, politics, even ghosts and monsters. Think of these as being similar to the tabloid newspapers of the Western world. Not like this, but more like these. Now let's explore some of these prints and the sensational stories behind them. Big warning here that many of these prints deal with sensitive topics. Topics like suicide, death and murder. And the last one I'll describe is really, really over the top. So if you're sensitive, I suggest you watch a safer, happier video like one of these. Okay, for those of you still with me, let's start with some prints by Yoshiiku, and then we'll look at some by Yoshitoshi. This newspaper print tells the sad story of a young man and woman in the village of Komoro, whose marriage was forbidden by their parents. So they committed suicide, and their parents had a wedding ceremony to join them after death. For this next print, in a village was a farmer called Kitaro. His wife had died and he lived alone. There was a woman who came to the village and sold old clothing. Kitaro had befriended her and one evening the woman asked if she could stay with him. He said yes, but that night he robbed and killed her. Half a month later, a dog came carrying the severed head of a woman in its mouth. The townspeople discovered that Kitaro had wrapped the corpse of a woman in a straw mat behind his stable, and he was immediately arrested. This newsprint shows a passerby stopping a geisha from Niigata about to jump off Tenmabashi Bridge in Osaka. Her lover, who also tried to jump with her, is not shown. She has removed her geta, her shoes, before she jumps. Not so fun fact. In Japan, it's a custom to take off your shoes before killing yourself. Here's an interesting one in this age of gender identification and LGBTQ. In the village of Higashikami, a boy was given a girl's name and raised as a girl. At 18, she became a maidservant for a rich family, and one night she had sex with the daughter of the house. She did the same with some other girls and women in the area. In Yasumoto village, there was a man called Hayazo who fell in love with her. He continued to love her even when he learned that she was not a girl and he eventually married her. Now let's jump over to Yoshitoshi and his Nishiki e Shimbun prints for the Postal News or the Yubin Hochi Shimbun. In this first newsprint, we see a child of 10 showing her wisdom by covering the head of a rearing horse with her jacket to calm him. I really respect Yoshitoshi's artistic renderings of these horses. Here we see a policeman rescuing a young woman from being drowned by her brothers who were offended by her delinquent behavior. Look at how wonderful Yoshitoshi's composition is. In this print we see Matsumoto Ai a female bone setter or chiropractor in Osaka, using judo to fight four men who tried to rape her. See how dynamic Yoshitoshi renders this scene. There's just so much action going on. This is one of the more sensational and horrific images and the perfect subject matter for Yoshitoshi's sensibilities. This story is about two women of Nojiri who were set upon while traveling, robbed, tied to trees, and eventually eaten by wolves. 
Now let's go to something less intense. In this newsprint, we read the story of a policeman threatening to arrest a geisha on a charge of indecent exposure on a hot summer day. Apparently this geisha, after returning from a festival in Asakusa, said, this heat is unbearable, and took off her obi and kimono, exposing her breasts. And finally, the print I warned you about, one of the most sensational and outrageous newsprints I found. This one angered the censors so much they stopped the publication of the issue. It's called The Sashimi Murder Suicide by the artist Shigehiro. A husband and wife employed a female servant named Take. The husband fell in love with her and often slept with her. The wife was very jealous, so when the husband was away, the wife stabbed Take to death. She then cut out the dead woman's private area sliced it up and put it on a plate. When the husband returned, she served it to him as an appetizer. After he had finished eating, he looked at his wife and saw her covered with blood and dead. And while he'd been eating, she'd killed herself. By the late 1870s, these color supplements were, were replaced by the rise of faster and cheaper letterpress newspapers. And even though they were only around for a short time, they provide an interesting window into the events and society of Meiji era Japan. We have about 12 of these prints available on our Mia Gallery website, so check them out. And for a ton of great information about these prints, check out this excellent website, nishikie.com. Until next time, like and subscribe, and happy collecting.